A certain movement pattern is necessary to trigger the stairs and obstacle function. At first, this pattern is trained with the contralateral leg. An open step is ideal for this training. Both feet are placed under the step. The user has to pull the foot backwards and then move it forward and up to place it on the step. To better learn the movement, a sheet of paper can be used. Start with a piece of paper under the prosthetic foot and keep weight on the prosthesis. Next, extend the hip to bring the leg backwards while maintaining slight contact with the floor. This whips the paper backwards. Then flex the hip and bring the leg forward and up. This should be trained until the movement is consistent. Users struggling with the movement pattern usually do not load the prosthesis enough before initiating the movement pattern. This is shown when the user does not whip the sheet of paper backwards. After triggering the stairs function, placing the foot on the stair and loading the limb, the knee joint locks against flexion and supports stepping up to the next stair. A good socket fit is a prerequisite for using this function. The knee joint will unlock and the normal stance flexion resistance will be activated if weight is taken off of the prosthesis, if the foot hits an object during the movement, if the foot is repositioned after stepping onto the stair, or if the lower leg rotates backwards. Focus on foot placement once the user is able to consistently trigger the movement pattern. The foot should fully contact the stair. This makes it easier for the user to step up. The torso has to move forward and up so that it is easier for the user to actively extend the residual limb when stepping up. As long as the prosthesis is loaded, the knee remains blocked against flexion. If the prosthesis is not loaded after triggering the stairs function, the knee joint will not block against flexion. The fundamental exercises for the stairs and obstacle function are put into practice. Triggering the function, foot placement and finally stepping up. Use the contralateral handrail at first since this provides the best support. You can support foot placement and hip extension. The ability to utilize the stairs function can depend upon stump length, muscle power, socket fit, step height and body height. For some Genium users, it is easier to start walking up the stairs with the contralateral leg and then trigger the stairs function. When assisting the user, make sure you always stand next to the user and not behind. It is also possible to use this function and the same motion pattern to step over small obstacles. The obstacles function and the stairs function are actually the same thing. The following exercise is a trust building step. After triggering the function, the user should step forward onto the forefoot. The user should take a step forward on the locked and flexed knee joint. You can support the foot placement. The user feels that the prosthetic knee joint is blocked against flexion and can be fully loaded. Now you can begin with a small obstacle. Let the user try to step over an obstacle without using the handrails. But take care that the user's hands are close to the handrails. A few obstacles can be placed in a line. The distance and height of the obstacles can vary. Soccer matches can easily happen during training. Therefore, soft obstacles should be used. The technique can be trained until the motion for triggering the function becomes subtle.